mind-blowing facts about diabetes you never knew. Picture this, or picture yourself, trying to crack the diabetes puzzle. But wait, I've got some surprises for you. Who am I? Well, I'm Dr. Ahmed Ergen. I'm an endocrinologist practicing in Florida. And here to help you with your diabetes, hopefully. Of course, you always have to discuss with your medical doctor because I am not your doctor. Well, some of you are my patients, but most of you are not. So, here are a few facts that might shake up what you thought you knew about this condition. Fact number one. Are you ready? Well, the power of A1C improvement. Let's zoom in here. Zoom in. Did you ever realize that each 1% drop in your A1C levels after over 6%, let's say you go from 8% to 7%, just 1% drop, could slash your diabetes related risks by 30%. That's a massive boost for just nudging those A1C numbers downward. It's like having a super shield against the threats lurking in the shadows of high blood sugar levels. Embrace this insight. Wield it like a powerful sword in your battle against a silent enemy within. Repeat it to yourself a few times a day. 1% can slash 30% of your complication. Even better than a Geico commercial, right? There's is 15%. Now, the hidden heights behind lows. Now, if your daily blood sugar feels like a roller coaster of low blood sugar and high blood sugar, hold them tight. That A1C, the gold standard of glucose control that everybody worships, starts to lose its sparkle. It is an average. It's average, right? It's just like me. It's average. Sure, but it glosses over the peaks. Now, your glycemic valleys are masking the risky highs of low blood sugars. So uncover the real story behind your blood sugar ups and downs. Navigate the tricky terrain of diabetes with a new awareness and emerge victorious with your pursuit of stable health. How do you do that? By knowing your numbers. So most people wake up and they wake up with a blood sugar of 120, they're like, oh, I'm good. Next thing they know, A1C is like 9%. Now, that's one example, because they are spiking after meals. Another example, people will come and say, my A1C is great, it's only 6.5%. But then their blood sugars are down to 30, 40s, and then sometimes 300, 400. Now their A1C is 6.5%. Because A1C is just an average. It's telling you what the average is. It doesn't really tell you what is your blood sugar consistently. So keeping blood sugar levels stable within the goal is your number one goal. Now, let's talk about A1C distortion. Now, it is crunch time. We are not talking about the real crunches, but things like anemia, popping iron supplements like iron, you know, or iron infusion being generous with some blood donations or getting some blood donation yourself or blood transfusion in this case will skew your a1c test results so in a nutshell the test becomes about as reliable as sundial at midnight so you need to delve into complexities of a1c testing that's why there are doctors there right there are doctors are doctors to know these things i hope they do but that's why you need to trust your doctor when they say, well, your A1C is not right, although it's normal, but your blood sugars may not be normal. Well, hopefully they explain to you why. But if you know it, you're a better patient because the doctor doesn't have to spend another 20 minutes trying to educate you. So I'm glad you're here. Now, equip yourself with these insights, right? You need these to decode the true signals. Number four, let's talk about the bitter outcomes of diabetes. Are you ready for a kicker? Now, kidneys might seem like the scapegoat for diabetes. It is the hearts and vessels that usually take the final hit. Yeah, your heart, your arteries. Most diabetics won't end up in dialysis center. They won't. You're not gonna go to dialysis. You know what will happen? No, sir. No, ma'am. You'll be facing off with the deal of heart attacks and strokes more than likely before you end up in dialysis. So prepare yourself. Strengthen your defenses and move forward armed with the wisdom that can shield you from the harsh realities of diabetes complications. So don't just think that just because your blood sugar is not normal, you're just saved automatically. 
That's why I always talk about holistic, holistic, holistic. It's not just about blood sugar levels. You have to think holistically, whole, everything. Your body is being disturbed with high blood sugars, low blood sugars. And what happened to you years ago, the high blood sugars that happened years ago still hounds you. So you have to think about that. That's why we have glucose defense, right? People say, oh, it didn't bring my blood sugar down overnight. Well, that's not insulin, right? So please think like that. Sugar MD, super rare brain. These are heroes for you, for your system, for your best defenses. Think about RALA, think about benfetiamine, think about neuropathy support. These are all holistic supports that your doctors will not talk about because they're not trained about. But you can research because you have a brain and you're smart. So don't just sit there stunned. Do something, right? Well, I'm glad you're here. Now, digest these revelations. Watch this video again and again. I don't care, right? Just pass it around. Let people watch it. Let these discoveries be the guiding lights on your journey towards better health, steering you towards a brighter, healthier future, brimming with vitality and resilience. And if you're hungry for more impactful data, I have a book for you. Most of you don't want to read books. I know that. But please, go and read that book. It's going to change your life. The Ultimate Diabetes Book at SugarMDs.com. For those who are foodies, well, we have a diet book, Doctor's Guide to Diabetic Diet. So get that book as well. Because knowledge, my pals, is the best medicine of all. In light of the mind-blowing facts previously I discussed, managing diabetes effectively becomes paramount. At SugarMDs.com, we have a lot of blogs as well. So if you want to get quick information, read quick blogs, we have hundreds of blogs on our website as well. We always emphasize the integration of dietary modification, physical activity, and nutraceutical supplements. Now, let's summarize what to do to potentially reverse, and if not possible, manage diabetes. Number one, you have to adopt nutritional intake. I'm gonna make a quick summary, very general. It's a good thing because it's repetition, right? So human beings, we all are, going to do something if we repeat itself, if we repeat it to ourselves or somebody repeats to us. So anyhow, tailor your diet to include a balance of high fiber foods, lean proteins and healthy fats. Please limit the intake of processed sugars and carbohydrates. They can lead to blood sugar spikes, you know, and, and then crashes and then you don't feel good, right? Physical activity, not that hard. Just wake up a little early, go to bed a little early. Engage in 150 minutes per week of moderate intensity exercise. It's gonna give you a lot more room to eat a little more of that banana that you wanna eat, so, right? It can be brisk walking, it can be swimming, cycling, whatever it can be, right? Whatever floats your boat. It is good for your weight, good for your insulin sensitivity, and it's good for overall health as well. Now, continuous monitoring. You know, monitor your blood sugar levels. Use Dexcom, use Libre, they are available. Yes, you know, people say they're not accurate. They're not, they're not supposed to be accurate. They don't measure your blood sugar levels. They measure your tissue levels, which is different than your blood sugar, but it's close. Okay, you know, just, it's like a weather channel. You don't just scream at the weather channel saying that, no, idiot, you know, weather was 90 degrees, it was not 88. Well, it was hot, right? That's exactly what the CGM does, the glucose monitoring. So take it, or you can just don't watch the news and get wet, I don't care. I guess that's if that's what you wanna do, then some people just wanna get wet. Now, let's talk about stress management. Stress can have a profound effect on your blood sugar levels as well. So think about stress reduction, mindfulness, yoga, deep breathing. These are exercises to maintain emotional and physical health as well. And consistent medical oversight. A lot of people say, oh, doctor, I don't want to see you every three months. Can I see you every six months, every one year? Sure, see me in five years. Well, if you're still alive, right? Well, it's important to get check-ins, especially when you're sick, when you have diabetes. You have a lot of things that can go wrong with you. I don't know what's wrong with you that you don't want to see the doctor because it's your life. Anyhow, routine A1C testing, routine kidney testing, other labs, or just sitting down and talking to the doctor is important. And educational empowerment, well, you're here for that reason. Stay informed about the latest advancements in diabetes care. Now at sugarmds.com, we offer a wealth of resources 
like I said, articles, the videos, interactive tools designed to empower individuals like you with diabetes or without diabetes, insulin resistance, weight problems, whatever it may be. By employing these strategies, you guys with diabetes can actively manage your condition. Risk of complications, live a happy life and a quality life which is what matters. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video. Give a thumbs up and like and share. And I will see you in the next video. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. Uh, it, if you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.